Get on. <laughs> Welcome back to the home of original sports perspective from our couch to yours. This is the Couch Rider Report. Your Couch Rider Raven here dropping one. Just real quick, look, wife's out of the house, so I thought I'd go ahead and get this in before the game starts. Look, a few of y'all have been saying, what's up with Tylen Wallace? Like, as if he disappeared. In fact, I see it all over Twitter. A few of you are like saying, hey, where's Tylen? Where's Tylen? Did he disappear? Well, I looked up a couple things on The Athletic. Uh, a couple things on uh, what, what's formerly called Roto World. It's like NBC Sports or something along those lines. And then, of course, just checking Twitter in general from like guys like Schultz, uh, Lombardi, all of these guys just to see and give you an idea as to where Tylen Wallace is. He hasn't disappeared, folks. He's been making plays in practice. It's just everything about Prochet has been extremely loud like crazy. And I think it's going off of that theory I was telling you about. He's either playing his way to the top of the depth chart or he's playing his way off the team to get traded. I'm not sure what it is, why the media is blowing Prochet up and he ends up being this huge darling for training camp. But hey, I'm a big fan of it. It looks like Baltimore's got a good problem. But Tylen Wallace, do not forget about Tylen. This guy was the Big 12 leader in receiving. He had 65 catches for 967 yards and six touchdowns when he was in college in one year. Let's go. Dude was averaging 87 points a game. And y'all were like, okay, well, that's what he did back then. I know you are a this, what have you done for me type people. But, all right, this is what he did recently. So let's see. I think it's 9 August. 15-yard toe drag for a first down. Okay? You satisfied? All right, no, there's more. There's more. <laughs> and actually, on Twitter, it was recorded as his best day of training camp. So it looks like he staffed a couple plays that day. And then there was back-to-back seven-on-seven touchdowns. According to Twitter, uh, someone on Twitter, I think it was Schultz on Twitter, and that was on the 10th of August. So he had a huge, uh, he didn't have like big time, huge days, but he has been consistent along the way. And that's all you really want is somebody who is going to be consistent, somebody who can move the change. And that's what, exactly what, what was reported on him from the athletics and, hey, he's not having a huge camp, but he's consistent and he moves the chains. He's got strong hands. He works his way back to the quarterback. He moves the chains and he has good route adjustments. I like this guy. I want to see him succeed, and I cannot wait to see what he does tonight in preseason because he is going to turn up. I'm telling you, do not sleep on Tylen. He had one little ball security issue in camp to where, hey, he made the catch, but, of course, the corner, Harris, he sees all these uh, veterans out here punching the ball. We got a guy named Fruit Punch, what I know the real name is now, but same time, Fruit Punch just matches up perfectly. He sees those veteran presence, and he sees what they're doing. He says, hey, I want to get in on this as well. Harris punches the ball out, and then Tyler ends up punishing himself with, with push-ups. You know, you got to get him in, baby. You got to push. You got to push Baltimore if you're going to drop balls or actually get balls punched out be fumbling. All right. I want to do video on this guy, and I'm telling you, I'm going to do it on a guy, on a comparison chart. And that's going to be coming up real soon. Uh, not tonight because I'm going to be enjoying myself watching the game. But... I want to show you how his game matches up with another receiver who used to wear number two in college, and that is Robert Woods. See, Robert, Robert does things on a consistent basis. It's not highlight reels, but he gets the job done. And that's kind of how Tylen Wallace is going to be if he gets his shot for the Ravens. It's not going to be highlight reels, but he is going to move some chains. I'm going to show you comparisons on his game and Tylen's game, kind of how I did the Julio and Bateman type comparison. And so be on the lookout for that. Hey, I want to apologize for the camera view right now. Look, I'm just going off the computer because I'm trying to get it in real quick because wife's coming back from the grocery store and I ain't trying to get shot up. Anywho, I'm just saying, we're going to get this thing in. All right, the last note I had was, or last two notes, is that uh, he lost a 1v1 drill against Deshaun Elliott. Okay, it was against the safety. It lets us know that Deshaun's skills are going up, but it was just one particular play. Hey, don't, don't eat too much into it. Don't read too much into these things, folks. We're going to see what's going to happen on the tape tonight. And I think the last thing I did see on Twitter was that he converted a third down play with a nice catch from Trace McSorley. So Tylen has not disappeared. Tylen is just consistent. You have those fireworks, folks, like Miles Boykin, for instance. Miles will sit there and go all the way up to the top of the mountain and then go crashing all the way down. James Prochet, he is being consistent on a high level across whatever. And we're hoping he stays healthy and be good to go. And then you got, hey, you got... You got Tylen Wallace. Tylen's like, all right, look, we're just getting it in. 
doing what we got to do, stacking play on top of play. Sure, there might be a little dip here, but we're going to keep the party going. That's exactly what Tylen is here to do is just to keep the party going for the Baltimore Ravens. Don't sleep on this guy. He ain't gone nowhere. He's just waiting for his opportunity. Check in tonight and let me know what happens, all right? I got your receipts. I'll give them back if I'm wrong. <laughs> Y'all take care. This is the home of Original Sports Perspective. From our couch to yours, this is your host, Jermaine Lockett, the Couch Rider Raven. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe, and smack that bell so you know when it's going down, baby. Peace.